Greetings everyone! In today's tutorial, we will quickly learn how you can change your site from HTTP to HTTPS with the latest WordPress 5.7 and we will not use any plugins such as really simple SSL. And for those who do not have an SSL certificate, we will also install a free SSL on your website. So let's get started. For more contents like this, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Let's open our browser. Our sample site is this one. As you can see, it's not secure. It does not have an SSL. Let me quickly log in. That is wp-admin. Enter the credentials. So this is a new website which is running on the latest WordPress 5.7. There are many updates on the latest WordPress 5.7. You can walk through. But we will talk about the HTTP to HTTPS feature in a single click. Previously, we used to use really simple SSL plugin. But now, this feature has been made default by WordPress 5.7. Anyway, let's explore and go to the tools and site help. So here's an alert that says the website does not use HTTPS. And here are even more details. Basically, this website does not have an SSL certificate. The other way to find out if the site has the SSL or not, simply open the website and add S in the HTTP. So you can see it gives an alert, meaning there's no SSL installed. Thus, the site does not have any SSL. Most of the web hosting nowadays offer free SSL certificate. So simply talk with the web host and ask them if they can install free SSL on your website. After the SSL installation, we can direct our site from HTTP to HTTPS without any plugin. For this tutorial, we will install a free SSL for this domain. This will be valid for 3 months and then needs to be renewed. For that, search for SSL for free. This is the one. Let me copy the domain name and click on create a free SSL. You will need an account to use it, so simply register with your email. So you will be directed to this page then click on Certificate, click on New Certificate. The wildcard is a paid one, we are doing a free one. Anyway, let me copy the domain. So this is the domain. Click on the next step. Again, one year is a paid one. We will go with the free 90 days, but you will have to repeat it again after the expiry. So we will go with this option. Next step, nothing to be done here, click on next. We are doing a free one, it's also pre-selected. So next step, now the certificate has been created. Now we need to verify the domain. You can verify via email, via DNS, CNAME or by HTTP file upload. So we will use the third method. Now in order to verify it, we need to access the cPanel. So log into your cPanel and enter the credentials. So here is our cPanel. Regardless which hosting you have, your cPanel should have a file manager. Find it and click on it. And look at your website files, usually under public underscore HTML. So here are all my website files. Now let's verify the domain. So you will need to create a folder named .well known. Let me also show hidden files, so go to settings and show hidden files and save. Create a folder and name it as .well known. Create new folder. Open the folder. Now again create another folder. I'll copy it. Create another folder. Give it a name and create. And again open the folder. Now let's verify by downloading the auth file. It's done. So in folder, I will just put it on the desktop. 
Now upload to the folder. Let me upload it. So it's uploaded. All done. If I click here, it's here. Then click on next step and verify the domain. So the domain has been verified. So the certificate is being created. It will take some time. Now the certificate is ready. Let's download it. I will put it on the desktop again. I don't need this. So here are three files. Let me extract it to the desktop. These are certificates. Let us install this to our website. Let me close this. We don't need a file manager now, so we'll close this. Go back to cPanel and search for SSL. So here's SSL slash TLS. Open it and then click on install and manage SSL. Now select your domain name, which is done. Let's add CRT keys, private key and CA bundle. So let's copy the certificate. This is the one. Let me open with Notepad++, copy all and paste it. And do the same for the private key. And the same for the CA bundle. If you don't have a Notepad++, simply open a Notepad and then simply drag it to the Notepad. Then copy all and then paste it. So we have pasted all the certificate details. Then click on install certificate. SSL has been successfully installed and click OK. So after installing the certificate, let's go back to the website and check. This might take some time and also try clearing the cache. So after some wait, the certificate has been installed. So here are more details of the certificate. Now we need to redirect the site to HTTPS as if someone goes to the site, it will go to the non-secured version. And we cannot ask people to add S on the HTTP. So let's go to the dashboard. Earlier we used to add really simple SSL for the redirection from HTTP to HTTPS. You can still do that, but now WordPress 5.7 does it by default. So again go to Tools and Site Health. Now it clearly says your website does not use HTTPS. So the default WordPress feature will help update to HTTPS. Simply click on Update your site to use HTTPS. You might have to re-log in. Now you can see the site URL switch to HTTPS and everything is looking all good. So this is how you can easily update your site from HTTP to HTTPS. If your website is still showing a non-secure version, then please clear your cache. I hope this lesson was helpful. Thank you very much.